Hey guys, welcome back. A couple of weeks ago, I posted an ad on my local Facebook marketplace offering my services to help families get organized at no cost. I'm volunteering my time and the products and the response was like crazy overwhelming. I had so many people apply. We chose a couple of families and today is the very first one. My name is Sarah. I live in Chatham, Ontario with my husband Jason and my three boys, Lucas, Cooper and Cruz. Today, we're going to work on my pantry. So our pantry has a lot of jobs to do for us. It has to house extra food. It has to house all kinds of things for the boys from their backpacks, their lunch pails, their homework, everything that they come home with. Um, then right down to everything, coloring books, craft activities. There's just a lot of stuff that has to go in there. I am guilty when company comes over. I do have a bad habit of just taking things off the counters, making it look nice and neat and tidy and putting it in the pantry and shutting the door. <laughs> I'm actually really excited about this space because it isn't a lack of organization. You are so organized. <laughs> it is not too much stuff. Okay. It's not that you have an abundance of stuff. This is just not taking advantage of the valuable real estate. So anything, you're kind of short. I'm mm -hmm. just going to say it. <laughs> it's true. You're slightly <laughs> short. So anything up here you can't reach. That's right. And this is the spot where you're using all the time. Right. So here's my plan for this space. Right here, we're gonna have a drop zone for their paperwork that they're coming in, the kids' schoolwork. It's gonna be like mom's purse drop zone to keep it off the kitchen counter. This, I think, is the perfect area for a lunch making station. Right now, this is filled with like coloring books and construction paper that isn't being used every day, but this is the most valuable real estate in here and the kids can reach it. So we're gonna relocate all of the kids' snacks down low and put their lunch pails right above. So this is our little lunch making station. And everything that's used less often, we're gonna create like a Costco corner up high with stacked clear labeled containers. Mom's a little on the short side, so we're gonna put things that she's not accessing every day way up high and just relocate the things that like maybe don't even need to be in here. Overall, this is gonna be a really fast, easy organizing job, and it's gonna be long lasting. This is gonna be so easy for them to maintain, and I'm really excited to get started. So, we're moving everything out. So that was fast. It was fast. I, you really don't have, I mean, it looks like a lot, but like honestly, lot, it, it's not that bad at all. But there, I'm noticing that there's a lot of things that probably don't belong in that hub for your home. I agree. So we want the things that you're using at least weekly to okay. go in there. And if you're not using it one time a week, mm -hmm. It's going to be real. You have a ton of storage. You don't know. <laughs> I, mean, I don't feel like I do. You have so much storage. You have a great toy room in the basement, and I get it. You have three kids, so we're not going to put markers. We don't want them coloring. Okay. But we are going to relocate things like stickers and coloring books that they're not using at least once a week. Okay. Downstairs, they can go get them and bring them up For when sure. they want to color. So that's what I want you to do is to go through, and then if it is things you know you want to stay, we're going to have one empty one here. Okay. That you can put those in too. Perfect. Put it. Put it down. Clean. It's fine. Okay. It's fine. We'll dry it up. Everything in your home is very, very clean. Well, there was a little dirty. Okay. I'm just dead panning right now. <laughs> organization the bottom is pictures I know but uh, over the time we've just kind of added whatever I found so I have a love-hate relationship with these organizers it's mostly hate I'm not, <laughs> it's a mostly hate thing only because what I find is that people buy them with the best intentions and then they just put random junk and I can see though why you would be attracted to this because it is clear mm -hmm. so it's visual you kind of know what it is because a lot of visual organizers it's out of sight out of mind right. we're gonna take drawer by drawer and we're gonna yeah. make piles we're okay. gonna keep we're gonna be tossing which is mostly gonna be recycling okay. or shred mm -hmm. it's okay we can rip it okay. and then that's gonna be really it keep okay. or shred 
here's what we're going to do. So what I'm going to do, I, I picked this up at Walmart. It was okay. $4. Oh, and this wow. $4 is going to change your life. All right. It's really micro, like an accordion file folder type thing. Awesome. And what we're going to do is none of these are going to work. We're going to make a label. I brought my label maker, but we're going to have one for like contacts. And if we come across business cards of like sure. people who renovated something, they can all go in contacts. Okay, that's good. Perfect. This is like the best sound. <laughs> My label maker didn't work. It didn't work. It's so sad. Uh oh. It's okay. I have a new label maker. Oh. That is the most B thing I've Dad. ever seen. Look at this. <laughs> the best intentions always. And so it's empty. So here's the honest truth. Mm -hmm. Um, you're busy. You work full time. Mm -hmm. You have three children. Mm -hmm. You're never going to do this. <laughs> Probably not. No, because there's only so much time in your day. This so sometimes we can over organize our lives. Yeah. And this is a really good example of it. It's better to just have a, an envelope that you stick them in, that you move to your car and move back in the house. True. And it's like, let's just be good enough it. and be done with it. Okay. to sort and everything else we're doing without you we're just going to surprise you all right oh, oh dear do you know what it is those are christmas aprons okay this is organized this is then we get to the more hall yeah that's fool you these we can donate really yeah these are just they're brand new lunch scale okay can donate those Look at you. And we're gonna keep these. Yep. And then is this for <laughs> that was, it was for no it was for a costume that we made for my son. It was extra, we can get rid of that. Okay. Yep. And all the extra shoelaces. <laughs> we we do we are keeping a bunch of things in the random like bin. Junk. We're calling it the random bin. So we okay. can if you want to hold on to those and the extra okay. things, we have we're gonna have totally have a random bin. So we can get rid of a lot of carts. Yeah. That we don't play with. But if you need to, this is true. We'll yes. keep just we'll keep. Okay. And we will organize all of that for you. Mm. This, this was a lifesaver when I had children yes. because you, did you put it on the stroller? Yep. And it carried all your bags and it was amazing? Yes. And what would you ever use this for now? Nothing. I don't think I would use it for anything. So we can let this go? Sure. Yeah. Okay, so we kicked Sarah out so we can quickly organize all of her stuff. I got lots of bins from the dollar store clear because she's B-ish. She's mostly B sliding onto the cricket scale, but she can shut the door. So we're gonna totally organize it for a B up high. And down low, we're gonna focus on more macro solutions because there's little kids here. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna sort everything into these bins, label them, put them away, and we have two hours to do it. Two hours to do it, starting right now. Okay, so now we're organizing their markers and craft supplies. They're gonna stay up here when they do their homework. But the thing that they have, like, no kid's gonna use this. You know what I mean? This is so micro. What kid's gonna take the time to put things away? None. And the other solution is just a bucket filled with, a bucket filled with junk. So instead, we're gonna opt for a cleaning caddy and a bunch of cups. You can use solo cups. I'm just using these little, dollar store cups and that's going to be our divider so we can have pencils and pencil crayons and all of the things sorted but fast and easy to find and put away in their little homework caddy. Okay so now that it's empty and it's macro sorted it's time to put everything back. Truth be told I'm not exactly sure where everything's going to go yet. This is going to be like a work in progress but ideally the stuff that's used less often, hi, the stuff that's used all the time, low, you're getting the point. So let's start moving everything in. Wow, that looks 
So we have spots for your bills. We kept this because I loved this. I it matches really, with everything and too. And it really does. So we, this is completely empty. We have your baseball things below. Everything else we found homes for in here. Perfect. But we left you empty drop zones. I want you to have like yeah. empty drop zones. So this is where your school papers will go that mom has to sign. Okay. Bills that have to have been paid bills that are need to be paid okay all right we have a spot for your purse Ooh, and it matches with everything it <laughs> does i was so excited and then all of the boys memories are here which is so nice. you ready so you get to make your own lunches so all okay. of your snacks wow. are nice and down low for you all organized yeah now i can just eat whatever i want <laughs> you can totally just maybe not eat whatever you want but then your lunch pails are above here, so you each have your own one. And then so you can, when you unpack your bag, you can put your lunch pail in here and your homework can go in here. Wow, this looks fantastic. Awesome. And then I love this so much. Look, so guys. You guys do homework and do crafts. Ooh. You love that. And all of your extra art and craft supplies are up here. Okay, so yeah, we found homes for everything. You know what's so insane? The only thing we relocated was one bucket of cleaning supplies right. and a couple of um, coloring books. Yeah, true. Yeah, and everything else we just Fits rearranged. Here just and we nicely. Fit. Awesome. Um, so feel free to rearrange. You don't have to keep it like oh, this and, and do whatever. But thank you for you letting us come. Thank you. What do we say, guys? My favorite thing about the pantry would be just the. It feels like I have so much more space now. Like I feel like there's so much more space in here. I love the fact that there's a designated drop zone for bills and papers. It's gonna make my life oh, so yeah. much easier. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you're feeling inspired to reorganize an area in your home. We didn't spend a lot of money and we definitely didn't spend a lot of time and the transformation was going to really help this family. And I hope you hit that subscribe button because we have a lot more family homes that we're making over. We'll see you then. Hey guys, thanks so much for those of you who have stayed to the end. I got a new camera. I'm excited. I've been filming with the same camera for a very long time. I was using the Canon 70D and now I have the Sony A7 III. That's going to mean nothing to you, but listen, my Canon is a like crappy in low light. So my whole house is like, you know, it's like the Adams family. I stained everything black. I hardly have any windows. There's no overhead ceiling lights. It's just like the occasional lamp, which for some reason they're all black too. I don't know what's wrong with me. I wasn't really thinking. So anytime I want to make a YouTube video, I literally have to bring every freaking light. There's like lights everywhere and stands. So when I want to like go from room to room, I have to move the lights. Laziness, which is why I don't really film that often. So I decided to get a camera that was really good in low light so I could literally just move it from room to room and show you as I'm doing things and I don't have to put out my light stands. So I bought it. It's, it's a Sony a7 III. It's awesome. Except, except it's so good in low light, I literally can't use a light because then I just look like ghosted. So I always use a ring light when filming and I put it like right close to my face because it blows out all my wrinkles. It's like, um, it's like a Snapchat filter for your camera. And so I can't use it anymore. And I'm really quite sad about it. So you're like, this is what I look like now. This is just me. So you're probably, I'm just, I'm warning you, if you watch this, you're like, she looks old. She looks old now. Yeah, because I, my ring light is, I can't use it anymore that I got this new camera. But on the plus side, I may make more videos now that I don't have to lug all my lights around. So I feel like still a win. Am I right? Am I right? I'll see you guys next time.